name is Laura and I buy things from car boot sales, jumble sales, charity shops, anywhere where I think um, I can get things cheap enough to then sell for a profit and that's what I do to make some spare money. Now I do this part time around my job in the hospital so I can't list as fast as I'd like to so I have got a little bit of a backlog uh, but I'll show you what I've got this week. Um, I've been going for book bundles again. Stephen King, 11 63 that book was 50 pence. Stephen King bundles do sell. I also got um, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, that was 99 pence, this was charity shop buy. Um, Full Dark No Stars, also 99 pence. And again with The Night Shift. And then this one was 50 pence, it was three in one though, The Shining Carry and Misery. Uh, so they're all hardbacks and they'll all go into a bundle uh, and I'll put the prices up there or there as to what I think these things should sell for. Next from the charity shop was a Beatrix Potter plush comfort blanket. I think this is lovely, look. This wouldn't, this wouldn't have cost me any more than a pound. I'll put the price up here as to what these go for. Also from the charity shop, one of these silicone moulds. I'm trying to make a bundle of these. I've got quite a few already because they do sell on eBay. Have a look. Bundles of silicone moulds. You can pick them up fairly cheap. I mean, this one was a pound. But you can find them at car boot sales for less than that. So they're worth picking up. Then from the um, recycling centre shop, I picked up Only Fools and Horses series 1 to 7 DVDs. They are all there. This cost me 50p. Should be able to get eight to ten pounds for that one. And then I picked up a box of bristle blocks, but I remember them as stickle bricks from when I was younger. But apparently they're called bristle blocks now. Um, that was 50p as well. Should be able to get around ten pounds for that. And then it's tractor time. It's tractor time. Very Devon. Early learning centre. Little people. Blue tractor with its trailer, working perfectly well as you could hear. This was 50p, again around £10, £10 for that. We're off to the fields. There we go. Uh, so yeah, happy with that one. And then we went to the charity shops in Saltash. I've already shown you a little bit on our um, What We Eat In A Day vlog, and I'll come back to jewellery in a minute, but first the soft toys. It's Winnie the Pooh. It's one of the old looking Winnie the Poohs. It's Disney, it's Gund. And I picked this up because um, I had a Tigger and he sold very quickly with the same label, Gund. So I thought I might try my luck with Winnie the Pooh as well and see how he goes. It costs 50p. If he's going for around the same price as Tigger, um, £10 or so. So yeah, 50p well spent. Then I picked up a duck. And I picked it up because it had Centre Parks label on it. Um, and it's a duck and I like ducks and I like geese, as you've seen with a picture on our wall. And um, when I looked it up, there was only one that I could find on eBay. He's not completed yet. He's up as buy it now for £15 with postage on top. So I thought, well, 50p, well spent. I'll give that a go as well. Mostly I pick things up because I like them or I think that they will be liked. I mean, this is... Something I think might be liked. It's a meerkat and he's in an Elsa dress. They don't actually go for all that much. Again, this cost me 50p. Might get £4 for him. Who knows? And um, from the set, all these were from the same shop. And I got another comforter. BB Sky. Never heard of BB Sky. I will look it up and uh, put what they go for up there. But it's one that attaches to a pram. And it's got the teething ring on it and lots of other little sensory bits and pieces on it. So, again, 50p. And then in another shop in Saltash, I picked up a puzzle. And I said I wouldn't pick up a puzzle because I went a bit puzzle crazy doing puzzles in lockdown. And I've still got quite a lot of puzzles that I haven't done yet. So, um, I'm trying to not pick up puzzles. But it was Middle Earth. Who doesn't love a bit of Middle Earth puzzle? Mirror of Galadriel, 
thousand pieces this cost two pounds they go for around ten pounds um, I think the price of puzzles what from what I've heard have come down but I'm gonna do that one make sure it's all and there finally from the charity shop in Saltash cuddly toys for 50p here's a vintage one it says little beggar yes I did say that right little beggar on his bib um, applause store a smaller one of these sold for 24.99 this is much bigger so I'm hoping for 30 to 35 pounds for this he's in very good condition there's no rips there's no stains there's no tears but look out for the little beggars so then I've been buying some jewellery and there was a bulk bag from Facebook Marketplace and I also got a bag in Saltash and they're kind of mixed up now so I just have to show you. Okay. These are the bits and pieces that I do not think I can sell separately so I'm just going to make um, a bag, a bundle bag I suppose. There's some interesting bits in there like this horse that you can just about see here some badges somebody will be able to make use of that um, also that, that bag there is a mixture from Facebook and charity shops of things I don't think I can sell also out of the bundle bag from uh, the charity shop were these ceramic beads which I thought were quite interesting and they've got flowers painted on them it says 100 pieces of French I haven't counted them not yet but I'm sure somebody can use that maybe for arts and crafts. Similarly, a bag of more kind of random beads, uh, which again I think somebody should be able to use for their arts and crafts. So they will be sold separately. And then in this box, which actually came with some jewellery in it, some pieces that I need to go through and photograph or untangle. It's an interesting box, I think. I could be wrong. But in it we have some beaded bracelets. It's a bracelet there. I'll put the um, what I think they're worth on the screen as I bring them out. So that's the bracelet. Then there's this beaded ring. It's quite chunky on my finger flower design ring and then there's also a beaded necklace so I haven't thought to look at the beaded things but we'll see how they go so that's quite a nice bre breakfast <laughs> not that I'm hungry that's quite a nice necklace with wooden bead design there so that was all in a bundle and then there's this necklace which you can hear me clanking it this necklace here is Laura Ashley this was also in a bundle bag and it's got Laura Ashley on the little tag at the top there also in the bundle, this is I think came out of the Facebook bundle, there's a nice little um, butterfly bookmark. Not exactly jewellery, I know, but still a nice piece which I think I will try and list and see how that goes. And I've got a couple of brooches. There's a dolphin brooch with its baby. Can't see any markings but it's, I just think it's a nice item. The dolphin brooch. I showed, did show this one. This was a Saltash charity shop one. Uh, the fish there. Again, no markings, but still an interesting item. There's the back of it. Also in the Facebook bundle, all of which came in this blue box here, was this little mirrored box, which on its own I could sell. I've seen them go for around £10, and I probably will sell it. 
but for now it's just holding the bits that came with it so there was a pair of earrings nothing very fancy about them should be able to get three to four pounds keyring an fc uk keyring a couple of brooches i'm not sure how to value these at the moment uh, let's start with that one it's got a picture of a lady on it There's no markings on the back that I can see. This all came in the bundle, as did this one. They're both heart-shaped. And again, no markings. So I'm going to have to do my research with those two. They may be worth something. And some very 80s-esque, chunky, angular earrings. They came in as well. And the bottom of this pot here is... Uh, hi, there it is. Then I picked up this ring from the charity shop. It's got a bit of abalone in the middle. It's stainless steel. I picked it up because in the back of it, it's quite a lot of writing, which helps to identify it. It says Adeline. Um, it's a 1970s ring. I'll put the price up on the screen. Then we're on to today's car boot sale. Kath really wants to show you what she bought from the car boot sale because it's made her very, very happy. Come on, Kath. Come on. She sat here waiting to show you. Uh, meanwhile, you're just looking at the cover. So, well, that's right, you can just look at something in a minute. So. Oh, well. It's a little frog. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how, I don't know how many items you bought at the car boot. But this is the only thing I bought at the car boot. Just this one tiny, I mean tiny, look how small he is. He's very cute. Tiny little frog. There, were, there was him and there were also two goldfish. And I just liked the look of him and I picked him up and I picked up the goldfish as well and decided that now I actually quite like the frog more. And then I asked the price. Um, thinking, I don't know, he fit, he's very like, he's very tactile, you can feel it's nice, like, quality because of the way it's been made and everything. Um, my eyesight being as, as it is, I can't see anything, so if there's any mark, maker's mark on it, then I wouldn't know because I can't see it. Um, so I asked, oh, how much would you like for your frog? And she said, well, she said, don't know if you can see that. She said, it's Lalique. I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this and the two goldfish were Lalique. We haggled and I loved him so much. I was happy to pay thirty-five pounds. Thirty-five pounds. <laughs> um, she said that she thought she hadn't seen that many completed on eBay. I don't know. I didn't bother to look. It doesn't matter because I like him, and things are only worth what people are prepared to pay for it, and I was prepared to pay thirty-five pounds. Um, I have seen completed on eBay for £95 for this particular one. So I'm very happy. I think I got a bargain. It's the first piece of Lalique I've owned. I do wonder whether I should have maybe bought the goldfish as well. Um, but I do have her number. So if I want to, and she still has them, I could probably buy those as well. That's it. That is the one and only thing I bought today at the car boot sale. Yes. I'm happy. Because he's lush. It's a, it's, a, it's a real contrast, this, because, you know, Kath spent £35 on her frog. I spent £10 on this because I'm cheap. 
<laughs> this is a Harley Davidson Motor Company metal badge, double pinned. Uh, I bought the uh, Motorhead and Bon Jovi, all those badges off the same lady last week. So, and one of them has already sold, which we'll see later. Uh, 10 pence could turn this into 8 to 10 pounds. From the same lady, so also 10 pence. Just because it was there. Eddie Stobart badge. 10 pence into 3 to 4 pounds there. And then I got a Charlie Chaplin pin badge. I quite like pin badges and brooches and things with pins. I like them. And they're quite easy to wrap as well. Uh, I'm just finding areas that I like at the moment. This is one of them. Uh, Charlie Chaplin. I have seen these go for between 7 to £10, pounds, but you can see that the paintwork's not in the best condition, so probably the lower end of that. From the same person. Now, this is not dissimilar in style, this cross here, to the ring, as you can see. So I'm thinking stainless steel with abalone center haven't found a completed yet um i'll put the price up on the screen for the pendant and then there's this one this is marked on the back i believe it's marked 925 it's in the center just there there's a bit of an issue with a pin which i need to work out as in the best way to get it clasped Lovely little bouquet of flowers there. And then from the same person, this chain was like caught up in the flower brooch here. So just let it go with them. I mean, the four items cost five pounds. This chain has now been released and it is silver. So I think I will have a good return on my five pounds. Okay, so also from the car boot sale, I currently have that little silver chain on it. Just keep it somewhere safe. It's one of those necklace display stands. Um, this cost me 50p and it's ideal because I have my eye on buying one anyway. So 50p, even better. I do find that um, if you've got something in your head, you tend to find it. And this is another book for a bundle. That's not my bundle. This is That's Not My Dragon, which I haven't seen before. And they used to have these books. Um, very good for sensory, all different uh, materials, textures, and encourages interaction during reading. So these books are brilliant. I really like them. And then from the car boot sale, I thought this was a file of facts when I first saw it. It's a little book of earrings. See that there? And you open it up and it has page upon page where you can just store your earrings. And I thought, ooh, that would be handy. And then I looked it up and saw that it sold for 15 to 25 pounds. And I thought, well, that's good because it only cost me 50p. And then Abby spotted it. And somehow I don't think this is going to be sold because Abby spotted it and she really likes it. So that's probably going to be a keeper as well. So a few keepers this morning. Um, car boot to sell cuddly toys. Who remembers this? Zippy, I remember this. There's no tag. Well, there was a tag, but it's been cut off, so I can't date it. Um, but they're going for 10 to 15 pounds, so they didn't cost me very much. I'll tell you how much they cost because I've got them all together. Um, this is a Arc Toys Penguin. These sell for around £10 each, the Arc Toys. So that was a good buy. And the person I bought this off obviously had a love for penguins because there's a McVitie's advertising penguin. They only go for about £5, it seems. And there's another penguin with no label. So I'll probably put those two together for £10. And then there's more Arc Toys. And it's uh, beer, Arc Toys beer. That was me straightening up a bit, I feel. Yeah. Arc Toys beer, and also to go with the Arc Toys beer is a little horn. 
together. I mean, this one on its own goes for four pounds together, ten to twelve pounds. Um, so I paid five pounds for all of, all of those cuddly toys, which at the time I thought was quite pricey, and then I've worked out that I can probably get forty to forty-five pounds back on them. So happy with that now. And then Beast Quest. Did I show you this already? Mother gave me this. I'm trying to list things in order of how I get them. Um, so I haven't listed this yet. I do need to go through it and check that it's complete. Um, uh, that's what it should have in it. I have a feeling it's not complete, but even incomplete, I should be able to get around £20 for this uh, first quest, Dungeons and Dragons game. Uh, so that's everything that I've sold. So that's everything that I've bought this week. Um, as I said, I do this very part time at the moment because I do still work three days a week at the hospital. Um, and around that, I'm still dealing with, you know, your day to day, helping with Abby and uh, the normal runnings of the house. So I'm doing this when I can. So if you see anything that you've liked, feel free to email me on the email below because it might be a little while before you see it on eBay. Uh, now let's have a look at what I've sold. Okay, so this is the most recent thing I sold, actually. This sold last night. This is Melissa and Doug, a wooden doorbell house with four keys, no figures. There should be a doll behind each door, a little wooden doll. Um, that's not there. However, Melissa and Doug is, they're well-made toys. Mostly wooden toys, very well-made. This one has a doorbell on each side. Each doorbell gives a different ringtone. There's a key for each door, all slightly different shaped. And other than the lack of dolls, it's in very good condition, as you can see. And I managed to sell that for £15 with free postage, despite the slight marks here, photographed and declared. The next item I sold, which was a uh, jelly cat dog. It's only a little one, it's one of the very little ones, and I paid 20 pence for this, and I sold this overnight for 8 99 with postage on top. Here's Matilda. Uh, I showed Matilda in last week's haul, I paid 50 pence for her. £6.80 with postage on top, took her up to £10. Now this is one of the badges that I spoke about earlier on. This cost me 10 pence. I sold this fairly quickly actually for 10 pounds despite the marking on the back as you can see. And I also picked up on the same day the Bon Jovi one and the WASP one and they are up for the same price and they also have watches. So that's done well, something to look out for. National Trust Picnic Cutlery Set. I paid 50 pence I think I had three of these this is the last one to sell 6.99 with postage on top this has built-in salt and pepper on each end there we go and then this cutlery slots into the middle uh, the weeders digest picked these up off Facebook for two pounds each sold it for 12 pounds just this one with postage on top these mugs have the anti-bug mug. You can use them as a coaster or a lid. And to use it as an anti-bug, obviously use it as a lid. And that was me thinking you had a lisp. Really? <laughs> we did digest. We did digest. And then Space Jam. The new Space Jam movie is coming up. So I did say last week when I sold my first Taz, I'm expecting the Taz's to sell in light of this. The Space Jam Taz has sold for £6 with £3.20. He was cheaper than some other Taz's because he had a green mark, well, some green marks there on the face declared and photographed. But he has sold nonetheless £6 with postage on top. And the final item, this is a real be on the lookout for this. This was my sale of the week, this little mouse. This was the mouse that uh, was thrown in for free with a load of plush that I brought. Beautiful little May leg mouse. There's her label. 
I listed her for twenty nine ninety nine with postage on top, and she sold within half an hour. <laughs> so maybe I listed her too cheap. I don't know. Um, but I will definitely be on the lookout for more of these. If you come across anything at Mayleg, you can get uh, Mayleg little mouse houses. They're a bit like dolls' houses. Um, other mice. There's a mouse that is a Mayleg mouse with a clown outfit and a clown face. That one sold for over £100. And they are tiny little mice and they are so worth looking out for. Um, so that's everything that I've sold this week. That's it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. That's another week in my little part-time selling world. Don't forget you can contact me using the email address down below if you like anything you see or if you just want to say hello. We're always up for saying hello. Um, many thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye. Thank you.